Hello everyone, welcome to Map to Love with Katherine Nicole. This is going to be another timeless pick a card. What is being activated in this um, new portal? Right now we're moving into the, I'm just adjusting it for a second there, this 10 10 activation, this portal. But remember, time is an illusion. So whenever you're listening to this, this is the perfect time for you. It means that there is a portal opening for you to walk into this new existence, this new life, this new energy within the union you're in, um, calling a union to you. It could, you know, take it as it resonates. You can look at it as the divine, sacred, sexual union within yourself or with a partner. It's up to you. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Which pile are you drawn to? We're going to call this pile number one, this pile number two, and this pile number three. Just take a moment, if you can, close your eyes, take a deep breath in, release all the stress, the worries, the fears, the concerns. And when you're ready, open your eyes and see which pile your eyes drift to. And you can certainly listen to more than one. Okay, we're gonna get started here with the first pile. The top starseed card for you is advancement. Wow, that's amazing. Str a strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the strings are the stirrings of your heart or the strings that are pulling your heart in the direction you want to go. So follow your heart. You're advancing. You're leveling up spiritually. You're advancing in the material world as far as money goes. You're advancing into better health, into better relationships, into partnerships. So there's an energy that's really pushing you forward during this time. So pay attention to it. Listen to your intuition. Okay? Advancement is yours. Put that there. With the um, moonology cards, it says it's a time right now to give rather than take a new moon in Virgo. This is all about healing, healing your heart space, opening up your heart space, being generous with others with your love and compassion, right? Because if you're following your heart, your true heart of hearts, I believe in all of our true heart of hearts, we want to experience love, feel love, and express love. And that's really what we're meant to do is live in a place of unconditional love. And I feel like that's what this card is encouraging you to do at this time. Give to yourself. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Allow yourself this time to heal and give to yourself and give to others rather than, um, you know, taking things that maybe aren't yours or, or grabbing the fruit before it's ripe, before it's actually harvest time but it's time to be giving and loving and generous of your, to yourself and to others. And surrendering to the divine, okay? Surrendering to divine timing, surrendering to your guidance, dropping the oars, going with the flow. So with this, um, you know, whatever full moon is coming up, things are going to be illuminated. It's giving you a chance to purge and let go of what's not serving you. Maybe, perhaps, you or people in your life have been taking, 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 and not giving back. And you're not feeling energized. You're not feeling good about that because it's just too much. And it's time to give to yourself and allow yourself to be nourished and come back to balance. And then surround yourself by more giving people instead of them sucking the life out of you. And surrender to the changes that are happening into your life. Surrender to the call. Surrender to your heart, opening your heart, the stirrings of your heart. What makes you feel passionate? What makes you feel joyful? Because these things are all being illuminated. So it's time to surrender and go within and allow yourself this time to heal so that you can move forward and advance in very powerful, beautiful ways. It's part of your growth. It's part of your spiritual growth, your process. The Halloween Oracle, what's, what's needing to be let go of is uh, being blinded to the red flags, right? Not seeing the truth about your situations, about yourself, about the choices you're making or have made, or what's surrounding you, the job that you're in, 
the relationship you're in, where you live, whatever it may be, things, spirit is illuminating the truth for you. And that's another thing that the moon does is, it, okay, so fear, the lower level vibrations, the resentment, the anger, the, you know, poverty mindset, the feelings of unworthiness, of not being good enough, of not being pretty enough, of not being handsome enough, of not having enough talent. Those are all lower level vibrations that are not the truth. It's an illusion. So what the moon does is it illuminates what your fears are. It illuminates the blind spots, the red flags, and allows you to see the truth. Possibly some of you have been fighting seeing the truth, seeing the truth about a relationship, a friendship, the truth about yourself and the decisions you've been making. And now that's being illuminated, giving you the opportunity to make different choices, to make a different decision. You have the power and control to decide what you want to do, how you want to react, what you want to say, and how you want to go about life. We do not have control over others, but we do have control over ourselves. And I feel that things are being illuminated that you've been trying to possibly avoid, but it's it's beneficial for you to look at these things because that's how you're going to advance. That's how you're going to move forward is to allow these things to heal, allow yourself to be restored, let go of what's not serving you and move forward. Now we've got the uh, tarot of sexual magic to, to see what's going on either within you or with you in a divine partner within it, within a sacred sexual union. So we've got the eight of cups. That's all about leaving the past behind, surrendering, letting go of the things that haven't worked out, letting go of the relationships that haven't worked out, manifesting a new reality where you have abundance and love and true partnership and you're in no third party situations or feeling anxious, like you can't trust the person or whatever the case may be, you know, take it as it resonates, but you, it's time. You want more. You want to grow spiritually. You want to be surrounded by people where you can give to and then also receive in the same. Maybe, you know, like I said, you were either giving, 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 or you were taking, taking, taking. It's either way, and it's like letting go of all of that and, and filling your own cup and allowing yourself to heal and surrendering to the things that haven't worked out and moving forward. Yeah, moving forward into complete independence. Nine of Pentacles is being good on your own feeling good on your own. Maybe it is time to be single. Maybe for some of you, you're moving from the eight to the nine. You're becoming single. You're, um, you know, taking charge of your life. I feel that you're very abundant. Whoever's listening to this, you're very abundant on your own, but it's time for you to remind yourself that you're good on your own. Okay. And what you're manifesting, what you're manifesting into the three is this partner who will love and cherish you and and, and, and will always have a piece of you with them and loves your hair and loves to be close to you and loves, this is what you're manifesting. See, the divine feminine is, is laying there, closing her eyes, like, I want to let go of this, and this is what I'm bringing in, and you are bringing it in. And the key is loving yourself and being independent on your own. And look at that. And once you're independent on your own and you let go and you leave the past behind and you advance spiritually and you level up and you move forward, advance in your career, I'm feeling, because this is money. Money is going to start coming in if you've been feeling a lack. Things are going to be abundant. You're going to be able to take care of things on your own. And then you've got this Ten of Cups to share with somebody else. So think about that. What do you really want? Because you're going, you're on the right path. You're the eight to the nine to the ten. I want you to think about just for a moment, what do you want? Because that is what you're bringing into reality. That is what is coming into your world. What do you want? What are your wishes? What are your dreams? Is that ten of cups to share with somebody? What is ten of cups to you? Ten of cups is not, doesn't necessarily mean you have to be with somebody. Ten of Cups to you is what it is to you. Maybe it's just being independent. Maybe it's just being able to take care of yourself and take care of your kids and enjoy a good life. And if you want the Divine Masculine to be there, you can have him there. If you don't want him to be there, then he doesn't have to be there. But you're still good on your own. But whatever the case is, whatever your Ten of Cups is, your ultimate love of life is, you're on the right path. And the key is letting go of the relationships that didn't work out. 
if you're in a if you're in a partnership and you really feel like it is your divine partner and you really want it to work out and you really want to enjoy the ten of cups again maybe for perhaps it's letting go of the fights letting go of the past letting go of the the, the cheating or whatever happened and feeling good on your own, coming into your own independence somehow. Maybe you were relying on someone financially and it's time to find your own financial independence. And once you do so, you can enjoy the Ten of Cups with this person because it's equal and you don't have to have them, right? The, the idea is you don't have to have them. You don't need them, but you want them. And it's coming to a place where you're good on your own and you just want them. And when it's right, it'll happen is what I'm feeling. But I do feel that money's coming in. I do feel that things are going to work out. Feeling good on your own, independence, and then here it comes. That, that cup being offered to you to give you that ten of cups. And it's up to you if you want to take it or not. You don't have to. You can stay on your own. So I feel like some of the blind spots that are being uncovered for you right now is that you are okay on your own. That maybe this is what you desire right now. And then when you're ready, you share the ten of cups. But right now, it's all about you, and it should be all about you, taking care of you. And maybe this is you giving some of your money and sharing with a partner, okay? Like, it's time to give rather than take, right? Sharing. Sharing your knowledge, sharing your love, sharing your time, sharing your money. Whatever it is that you have to share, it's time to share, right? This is the Divine Feminine saying, yeah, I know, I've got this. Look at this big pentacle in my hand, and I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to share it. Because I don't need to keep it all for myself, and, and, and you are my divine partner, and I want to share it with you. It doesn't always have to be the masculine that's, that's sharing all the money. It could, be, it could be you, the divine feminine listening to this. It's like, I, I'm good. I got the money. I, I'm good on my own. I'm done with the bull crap of the past. I'm leveling up spiritually. I want something more. I want a partner that's more than that, that's more than the physical. I want something that's spiritually based, too, and emotionally based as well, and that's what the Ten of Cups is. And the final message for you of what's being activated within you in this material world, where you're advancing, where this is all coming, and I felt it, is the root chakra, okay? That's your security and safety in the material world, vitality, stability, and survival, and letting go of the fears, right? And that's at 33, okay? So the ascended master is working with you, and it adds up to be a six, beauty and blessings from the past, something that you've been working on, is coming into fruition. And I feel like the root chakra is brand new beginnings. That's like the base chakra, your first chakra. So it's brand new beginnings in the material world, brand new beginnings feeling good health-wise, brand new beginnings in this divinely faded sacred sexual union. And we are going to look in the book, and I'm going to read just a little bit from that for you. The celestial interpretation of this card is primal grounding forces connect us with the earth and our tribal beliefs. The root or base chakra is the basis of our energy system. It regulates physical harmony and mental and emotional energies of stability, security, and sensuality. Our connection runs deep with Mother Earth, and we must remember to honor the roots that flow into the ground, keeping us connected and stable. The oracle says your vital energy, your chi, or immune system may deplete, be depleted, and you need to regain strength by engaging in grounding exercises and or reconnecting to Gaia, Mother Earth. You need to stabilize your energy and become grounded. You're always fully supported, and your needs are taken care of. Know this. Don't let yourself succumb to fear. You are strong and powerful with radiant vitality and confidence. Stand strong on the earth and take good care of yourself. Crystals that can help you are black tourmaline and hematite. And bergamot essential oil could be a good companion right now. So what I felt is finding your new beginnings, your stability in the material world, is what's going to get you on track to this Ten of Cups. Leaving the past behind, learning from it, growing from it, taking the wisdom, leveling up spiritually, surrendering to divine timing, surrendering to, surrendering to your Destiny will advance you in this physical world to stability and new beginnings in everything, in life and love. And that time giving to yourself is taking care of your physical body for sure. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and you got something beautiful out of it. I appreciate all your support, liking it, um, help circulate it, you know, commenting, sharing, whatever. And if you feel, feel free to listen to other messages. 
Okay, we are gonna clean this pile up real quick. And we're gonna move on to pile number two. So your star seed message to begin this is transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. Let me read that again. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. This is cutting through the BS. Cutting through the anxiety, the toxic thoughts, the belief systems that aren't serving you. Letting go and allowing your inner light to truly shine. Bridging that gap from your mind to your heart and finding your center. The Moonology cards, we have Show the World the Real You, Full Moon in Aquarius. And emotions are running high, super. Now, remember that this is timeless, but when I'm recording this, the energy is pretty high because we're going into the Aries full moon where the energy, you know, that, that power, that creativity, that passion is running high. So in your situation right now, no matter what time it is, Emotions may be running high. It may be a little bit like, woo, wow. Some people are just really out of control, or maybe it's you feeling like you're out of control. But it's time to rein that all in, rein all that beautiful passion that you feel inside yourself, transcend that into the light, transform that into new energy, and step out into the light and show the world who you really are. If you've been a wallflower, if you've been a hermit, if you've been holding back these creative ideas, these gifts, these talents, it's time to bring yourself into balance and step out of the box. Show the world who you are. This full moon or whatever full moon is coming is going to allow you to let go of what's not serving you so that you can have these new beginnings. And Aquarius is air energy cutting through the BS cutting through the like the lower vibration energies and feelings and emotions and transforming them into the light, into the higher vibration energies, into love. And realizing it's all part of the plan. All these lessons, everything you're learning, everything you're going through is all part of the plan and your emotions are guiding you. So pay attention to them. If you feel a certain way about a, a certain opportunity and it doesn't feel right, don't take it. Or about a relationship, if it doesn't feel right, don't take it. If it makes you feel all out of control and crazy, it's probably not the right one for you because a real true partnership, a real true good relationship, whether it be business, love, or friendship, is balanced. It doesn't make you feel crazy like a roller coaster ride. It's balanced. With the Halloween Oracle, what's been needing to let go of is unnecessary fear, okay? Fear of the unknown, fear that if you evolve and you spread your wings and you fly, that you're going to leave people behind and you're afraid of that. Fear of showing the world who you really are, of speaking your truth, of, of sharing the wisdom that you've gained from all your experiences and you're feeling a little scared of that. And it's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, those are the emotions. But it's unnecessary fear because what you have to say in whatever creative way that you want to say it, whether you paint it, draw it, sing it, speak it, write it, whatever it is, it's your truth and it's needed in this world. It's wanted in this world. You are wanted in this world. You are unique. Each one of us is unique. Yes, we are all connected, but we all are unique and we have a different perspective because of the experiences that we've brought to ourselves and because of the life that we've lived and the people that have surrounded us. But it's time to face those fears. And what the moon is going to illuminate for you is that it's a false reality. That the truth of who you really are is you are gifted, you are talented, you are abundant, you are worthy, you are love, and you deserve love. So if you haven't done so, it's time to face your fears. Ground yourself. Get out into nature. Ground your emotions. Let Mother Nature recycle the unnecessary, 
emotions that you don't need and transcend them and bring them up into the light and take that vital energy from Mother Earth and that wisdom and understanding and overcome these fears. If you need help with that, reach out to someone that can help you. It's been there, done that. Reach out to a healer. Do a meditation online, whatever it takes, but it's time to let go of those fears. What's going on within the sacred sexual union within yourself or you and another person with the tarot of sexual magic? Well, first of all, spirit wants to remind you that you are the empress, that you are the emperor, that you are, if you're a divine feminine listening to this, this is the epitome of divine feminine card. Nurturing, creative, abundant. This is who you really are. Love. See the love words on there? Deserving love. Open to love. Sitting there open, I know I've got what it takes, and my heart is open, and, I've, and I'm ready, but you ain't going to get any of this. I'm not going to uncross my legs for you until you show me who you really are, and until you bring it, because you can't come forward to the Empress unless you bring it. You just can't. You have to bring it. So to me, this is representative of you bringing yourself into balance, realizing that there's nothing to fear because you have all the power and you have all the knowledge that you need inside yourself to create the reality that you want. But you are all queens combined. Balanced, stable, abundant, creative, nurturing, compassionate, creative, amazing, beautiful. That's you. That's what's being activated. That's what you're moving into. Once you bring yourself into balance and you step out and you show the whole world is you, it's abundant. This is going to be you sitting pretty and you having choices of who you want to let in sexually and intimately. You have a choice. You don't have to. You don't have to take crumbs. You don't have to take lower vibration abuse. No. You deserve everything and you will have it. And then we have, there you go, opening your heart, right? Once we come into balance and we realize that we were being fearful for nothing, we open our heart to the sacred sexual union, it's beautiful. And look it, she has her legs open. I'm just saying. Okay, legs closed, legs open. Because, let me get the next card, so let me get a little bit more to the story. Oh, God, of course, my favorite card of the deck. I freaking love this card. Okay, King of Wands. And Queen of Cups. Okay? Divine two partners coming together. Now, this to me is divine union. Feeling good on your own and then bringing this union in. And the way that you bring it in, divine feminine, is you open your heart space again. You open your heart to the masculine that deserves your heart to be open to. Who loves you. Who cherishes you. Who just wants to be close to your heart because you help heal them. Okay? And this is the divine masculine, loving, generous, kind, abundant, passionate, creative. I mean, it's, wow, holding the divine feminine. Come closer to me. I just want to hold you. I want to share everything that I am, everything that I've learned, everything that I have, I want to share with you. And all as it takes, divine feminine, is to open your heart space again. When you know that it's your divine partner and you know that it's right for you and they have shown themselves and, and been authentic with you and open with you, and yes, your emotions can be running high because this is, a, this is a very passionate love. This is a very intimate love. This is an extremely intuitive psychic love because wands are all, all about spiritual evolution. And the queen of cups is a highly intuitive, highly spiritual being. So these are two highly spiritual beings coming together and enjoying this, this abundant life. It also could be that you are becoming single and so, you know, you're moving on and allowing your divine partner to finally come in. It could go both ways. Like if you're a divine feminine listening to this, this is you feeling good on your own and then you then... I'm good, I don't need you, but I want you. And then when that person comes in and it feels right, you open your heart and you open your whole self up to this person. Trust your intuition on that because you're, you're right on. Pay attention, trust yourself. Unnecessary fear when it's the right partner. 
if it feels good and it feels right and it's balanced and it's loving and it's generous and it's kind, that's your partner. Now, Divine Masculine, if you're listening to this, this is you being open to love. This is you being willing to share your space with someone. Pulling that person close and making them feel safe, making them feel comfortable in your arms, that you're committed to them, that you're passionate about this, that you're going to make the decision to be with your true divine partner, okay? So no matter how you're looking at this, this is beautiful. It's you feeling good on your own and then allowing this love to come in and expressing yourself, talking about it, opening up about this love. Don't hold it in. We can't read your mind. I mean, maybe some of us can but we want to hear it from you. And it's more about not even hearing it. It's about feeling it, feeling the connection. If you're not in the physical yet, and this is you sitting pretty, right, waiting for this, it's feeling this energetically and spiritually, and you're going to call it into you. And what's being activated for you at this time, whoever's listening to this, what's being activated within you is um, majestic eminence, priestess, divine feminine, your worth. Beautiful. Ending cycles that need to end in a perfect card to go with the Empress, that Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine card. So the Divine Feminine is really coming through strong in this reading. So even if you're a Divine Masculine listening to this, that's the Divine Feminine within you being activated so that you can be in balance, so that you're not crazy with your emotions, that you're you're being logical and bringing that into your heart space and being compassionate and opening yourself up again. But this is the divine feminine rising. This is that inner knowing, the intuition within you, the emotions within you rising up to the surface, knowing your worth, knowing how worthy you are, that you're worthy of this union, you're worthy of this abundance, and you're worthy of love. And it's just time to show the world who you really are. Express yourself. It's a beautiful thing. You're beautiful. It's time to express yourself. And, and speak up. Speak your truth. If you're into someone, speak up. Okay. Um, the celestial interpretation of this card is majestic eminence resonates to the sacred and divine actions of the true inner priestess. The sublime, generous, and blessed divine feminine is to be honored and acknowledged as it is the... Uh, wait, let me do that again. As it is this exalted force that fosters balance from excess masculine energy. Okay, so yes, that is the divine feminine with you rising up. So you, the, no matter if you're feminine or female or male, it's to balance the overactive masculine <laughs> energy. This noble ray embodies the highest frequencies of grace, patience, and love, yet empowers the soul with dignity and worth. Through the inward journey of the priestess, the voyage cherishes beauty within one's own soul. And all other souls are inspired to do the same. Yes, you're an inspiration. Show the world who you are. We want you. We need you. Speak your truth. Comment on this, please. It's time. It's time. And the oracle says, regardless of if you're a male or female body, this card suggests the need to balance the divine feminine aspects within yourself and honor your worth. Allow your wisdom and power to be expressed by example. Bask in your own sacredness with gratitude and love. Be confident with your choices and yet receptive to all of life. Beautiful. Exactly what I was feeling. Coming into balance. The sacred sexual union within yourself and then sharing it with another. Be gracious. Be appreciative of what you have and you'll definitely get more things to appreciate. Let go of unnecessary fear. Let go of things that aren't serving you and move into this new energy. Crystals to companion you at this time that will be good for you are amethyst and aralite. A-U-R-A-L-I-T. I'm not familiar with that one, but that sounds awesome. I'm going to look that up, but definitely familiar with amethyst. Companion essential oil that can help you right at this time is Lily of the Valley. It's a beautiful time. For you to make your mark on this world. That's what I'm feeling. It's time. You've got everything you need. It's time. I appreciate and I, I love you all. I hope you enjoy this. I look forward to hearing your comments about this and how things transpire for you. Um, 
Let's help one another out by sharing how we overcome fears and how we face them. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, and I appreciate your support on my journey. And now we're going to move to pile number three. Your starseed message for this pile is love. Wonderful. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. Yes, it's all about love. We came into this life to be the perfect divine expression of love, of unconditional love. That we receive from the universe, from God, from source energy, and bring it in through us and share it out to this world through our heart space. It's all about love. The answer is always love. And you're sitting in an energy of love. How beautiful is that? The Moonology cards say the energy is gaining momentum. Whatever you've been working on, it's gaining momentum. Whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're thinking about, it's gaining momentum. What are you thinking about? Are you thinking loving, kind, beautiful thoughts? Are you thinking scary, anxiety, fearful thoughts? Because whatever you're thinking, the energy is gaining momentum and it's coming into reality. But I feel with this group, you're in a place of love. So stay in that place of appreciation, of love, of forgiveness, of seeing the beauty and the blessings and all of it because you're gaining momentum on your physical manifestations in this world is what they're telling you. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. So within this, this full moon that's coming up, whatever full moon that is, if it's right now and you're listening to it, it's a full moon in Aries. So it's a brand new beginning, the beginning of the zodiac, new beginning for creativity, passion, new projects, partnerships, resurgence of love if you're in a balanced state but it's gaining momentum and your conclusions are coming so keep your hold your vision strong hold it what do you want what is every loving thought and abundant thought that you have because that's what you're bringing into your reality and it's coming soon and you can feel it. You can feel it within your heart, within your soul, that things are speeding up and you're like getting excited and you're like, what am I excited about? Or having, I'm you know, crying tears of joy, like out of the blue, just feeling like, oh my God, it's, it's close. I can feel it. This person is close. This opportunity, whatever it is, it's going to just blow wide open for you. And what's going what's gonna to bubble up to the surface and burst out of you is love of your life, of everything really beautiful and what needs to be let go of or looked at closer with the halloween oracle is control letting go of control feeling like you have to control everything like you had like everything has to be a certain way or done at a certain time but really really it's all about divine timing so it's time to let go perhaps there's other people in your life that are making you feel like you have no control because they you are allowing them to control you but nobody or nothing has control over you. You have the power of control of yourself, of what you think, what you do, how you react, and the decisions that you make. But conclusions within this, whatever has been going on that you're feeling is out of control and that you're trying to control so, so much or someone else's is coming. Conclusions are within reach for this, to overcome this, to let go of this. And what I'm hearing is just let go. Go, let God, let the universe, let spirit guide you. And if you do have controlling, manipulating, narcissistic tendencies within yourself or surrounding you by other people, it's time to let go of those people. Let go of that vibration because everything is gaining momentum and you're moving towards love. Of a love of life, a resurgence of love that you're a relationship, a, a new relationship coming in, whatever your you know situation is. But if you're trying to grip on and control every little aspect of what you're doing or everyone else is doing, it's wow, that's really tough, tough. Because you can't do it. Everyone has free will, right? Sometimes we have to let go of people and things that we thought were our ten of cups, our ten of pentacles, or our best opportunity and, and let go because it's really just not. And it was as karmic meant for lessons and, and, and letting go of that control. What is going on within the sacred sexual union within yourself or and within another person, within a partnership with the tarot of sexual magic? Okay, here again with the moon, illuminating your fears, illuminating the illusions, 
illuminating those doubts and those concerns and you're reflecting on what you've learned. Other people in your life are a mere reflection for you. Instead of, uh, you know, trying to control and push against, ask yourself, what is this person teaching me? What is this situation teaching me? Because really the key is filling your own cup, right? Raising up your own cup and, and facing your fears and getting over the illusion. So this whatever this full moon is doing is illuminating your fears. And what you're uncovering is that little pearl of truth, that little bit of truth that you need to gain a fresh perspective to move forward and see that the truth is really love. That's what's being illuminated this moon, that love is the key that love is what you came here to experience. So if you're not experiencing love in your relationships, are they really serving you? Is it because you are trying to control everything and not allowing yourself to experience the love? Because it could be that way. Or that others are trying to control you and it just doesn't feel very loving and it feels very confined and you feel like you want something different. Whatever the case is for you, the answer is love. You're uncovering the love, the love in your heart, loving yourself enough to make the best decisions for you and learning from others, learning what they're teaching you, learning what these different relationships and situations have taught you. And then we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, still needing to be patient, still waiting, like conclusions are within reach, but it's, it's kind of like you have to let go of the control aspect of it allow things to come into fruition, allow the harvest to actually happen. The seven is like you're, I feel like you're on the right path, but perhaps you're letting go of these karmic partners that are all about the physical, that are all about the, the sex and the kinkiness and the orgies or third party situations or whatever the case may be. It's going to be different for everyone, but it's like I, every time I look at this card, I feel like it's like it kind of has his eyes part way open. It kind of looks like, like looking off somewhere else, like, isn't there more than this? More than this physical? Yeah, sex is great and it's awesome, but isn't there more than this? Like, I feel like there's more than this. And like, is this what I really want? I mean, is it? Or do I want more? And I feel like that's where you're at. You're like asking yourself, is this situation what I really want? Or do I want to let go and I want to move towards love? I want to move towards a, a divine partnership that, that really is loving and generous. And there we go. That's you letting go. And as soon as you let go of what's not serving you, your true divine partner comes walking through the door. That's how it works, right? You let go of control. You let go of when, it, when, where, what, why, and how. And you just allow it to happen. This is you loving yourself, nourishing yourself, taking care of yourself, feeling abundant, um, eating right the you know, good fruits and vegetables, taking care of your physical body, feeling beautiful and wonderful on your own, and then letting go of all that's not serving you, all these relationships that are just not fulfilling, not giving you enough, and, and knowing that beauty and blessings are going to come into your life from the past. And here it is, this divine masculine restored saying, I want to come back and share life with you. This is very reciprocal energy. You're going to be receiving a gift or something coming in to help you in the material world, you know, someone coming in and helping you find your stability, if that's what you've been wanting, or finding your stability in love and stability in a relationship. To me, this is a true divine partner coming in to share life with you through that door. But if we don't let go of our fears and we don't let go of what's not serving us, it doesn't, they won't have the opportunity. I feel like they're right there waiting and as soon as you let go and as soon as you face your fears and transform them into love and into the light, that's when they're going to walk through the door. Because they're going to feel comfortable enough to do so, that it's time. But if we don't love ourselves and nurture ourselves and bring ourselves back into balance, do they really want to come forward? Or would we really want to call someone forward that wasn't ready? Or call them forward when we aren't ready yet? So get ready to be ready because the energy is gaining momentum and Conclusions are coming. So clean it up. Whatever it is that you need to clean up and let go of, it's time to clean it up because this is what you're going to receive is something very beautiful, a blessing, something that's very reciprocal, giving and receiving instead of just taking and, and, and not really giving much back. What's being activated within you who's ever listening to this? It's inspirational creation, alchemy. The elements are working with you. You're working with the elements and innovation being creative with it. And it's another, well, it's another six. So yeah, something from the past is coming back. And look at all this beautiful green energy. 
healing your heart space. She's even wearing green. So this is all about heart energy, love. It goes perfectly with love. This is you receiving love, unconditional love from the divine and pouring it into yourself. You're a healer. Who's ever listening to this? You have healing abilities and they're being unlocked right now. That's what I'm feeling. Your healing abilities are being unlocked. Your, your psychic abilities are being realized. You are being healed and restored with this dragon spirit here surrounding you, being healed and restored and, and coming into your own and, ex, and expressing yourself, right? Okay? And this is all that energy gaining momentum. You can feel it within yourself and uh, within your, your body. Like, whoa, what's this newness inside of me? What's being activated? Well, this is what's being activated. It's all part of the process. And we're going to read a little bit on, and from the book here um, to end this message for you. The celestial interpretation is inspirational creation resonates to magical celestial creation. This sacred ray combines the utilization of ether, air, earth, water, and ice elements to cohesively join with the wisdom and mastery of the spirit of creativity. It attunes the soul to advanced vibratory frequencies of inspired vision and initiates higher octaves of innovation. Yeah, you're really leveling up spiritually, and these inspired creative ideas of yours are going to be very fruitful and very abundant. Like, I'd just be confident in that. Truthfully, yes. And if you're feeling like going on a healing journey and becoming a healer and doing something with your spiritual gifts, yes, absolutely look into that. Because you are gaining momentum. Your power, your magic is gaining momentum. The oracle says, create, create, and create. You are or will be receiving an influx of creative influences in your life. Look to existing creative projects that need renewed energy or create something new. All the elements are supporting you right now to embrace your highly imaginative, magical self. Your creations could be, tangi could be tangible or ideas. Whatever you wish to invent, it is a good time to allow your creative juices to explore and flourish. You are the alchemist of your own reality. You are the magician. You are creating your own reality. So what do you want to create? Love. Happiness. Abundance. Generosity. Money. Good health. Good fortune. Prosperity. And then, and then using that wisdom and whatever you have to share and sharing that with others. That's love. That's unconditional love. This is you living in unconditional love. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. Crystals that can help you at this time are emerald and aquamarine. And an essential oil that can compan be a companion for you at this time is silver fir. So they say in the book. And if you have any other intuitive ideas on what can help you, of course do that. But this is a very creative time for you. And I feel that there might be some energies kind of or fears holding you back from that. But it's time to let go of that and allow those creative juices to flow. Allow yourself to heal, to come into balance. And then coming right through the door. That's how it works. Love surrounds you and is, is you. And it's time to express that out into the world. I appreciate every single one of you. And I hope that you enjoyed this and got something beautiful out of it. And, I, and if, you, if for some reason this pile, you want a little more, listen to another pile. And I wish you the best and I appreciate your support on my channel. I love you all.